Artificial intelligence is transforming the way we live. However, despite its rapid progression into the mainstream, major banks and most corporate, most of corporate America, really, they're not prepared to embrace and adopt the powerful new technology. That's according to a new article by the New York Times, which says that there's always been a lag between technology invention and adoption across industries and the economy. Steve Lohr wrote that article and joins us now to talk a little bit more about this. So I always like, you know, we do a lot on AI. Right. And I'm always like, AI's been around forever. Like now suddenly there's kind of all this fear mongering about it. But it's not like we haven't, we haven't been impacted by AI for the last 20, 30 years. So why are we seeing kind of this hesitation and pushback now? Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's uh, artificial intelligence is improving dramatically, particularly over the last 10 years. What happened really since last November was the introduction of chat GPT, which showed this generative artificial intelligence and people could access it. Uh, and they're remarkable fluency engines. And and people are concerned about being on a, on a kind of a runaway train. And you the um, corporate reluctance that you mentioned really gets down to issues of trust. I mean, um, is there confidential information that, that'll be leaked? Uh, is, is privacy protected? That's particularly important in highly regulated industries like banking and healthcare. Will that your data be used to train your competitors' models so that it, you, there'll be a competitive effect? And can you trust the accuracy of these um, AI-generated uh, answers? Uh, and those are all open questions. I mean, the companies are enthusiastic, but... Um, they're reluctant to, you know, jump on a runaway train. Well, and it's obviously, you know, some corporations are embracing it. Others, though, you look at the Hollywood writer strike, and that's the yeah. biggest contentious issue right now mm -hmm. is this AI. You know, how do we actually pause the progression? Is there a way to do that? You know, things will take care of themselves to a degree on that because, you um, there's always these lags. I mean, the, the analogy that has been used most recently is that the latest wave of artificial intelligence is sort of the equivalent of the arrival of the internet in the 90s. And in the 1990s, there are all these confident predictions that, that the internet was gonna peak up and disrupt um, the media retailing and advertising industries. And it really did happen. But a decade later, after the dot-com bubble had crashed, and this is, you know, to Anne Marie's point earlier, there's always this lag between uh, the invention of a technology and its widespread adoption. And I think there's, you know, there's plenty of concern, and that will slow things down. I mean, everybody across the world is trying to regulate this now. Yeah. Uh, Steve, absolutely. Steve, I feel like we're going to be talking we have to forever. wrap it up, but we're going to be talking to you again <laughs> on this very topic. Uh, Steve Lord, thank you. Thank you.